My buddy Cody just dumped me in the launch here. We are gonna go pick up my friend Brian, who actually lives on the lake out here. We're gonna fish some public water, crappies, maybe bluegills, but we're trying to chase some big crappies. I love pan fishing, crappie fishing. It's kind of what I grew up starting to do, and uh, they're fantastic to eat. So we got a little warming trend, a lot of wind though. Why is it always windy? Every single time I get a day off to shoot a YouTube video. I can't catch a break. All right, everybody, say hello to my friend, Cody. How you doing? You're only gonna get to see Cody if we actually catch some fish. <laughs> but if we do, Cody will be the star of today's show. Kills big deer, catches big fish, and for all you single ladies that are out there, he is now officially back on the market. Fresh steak is available. Oh boy. <laughs> this is awesome. This is like catching a pass from Aaron Rodgers right now. This is awesome. <laughs> there he is. The man of the hour. My man Brian. What's, What's up, up, buddy? Glad I get to go out fishing with you. Nice you. We got Cody nice to meet you. and Brian. The stars of the show. Hopefully we'll catch some fish. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Here we go. spot two um, we're gonna start anywhere in what 15 5 to 15 feet of water maybe go up shallower and just look around thing is I'm I'm gonna use a live scope and if we don't see them we're just we're gonna get out of here and just keep looking for fish until we see them that's the key is you know the technology that that's now available um, you can you can hunt these fish down so fast and get on them and uh, if we see them, we'll fish them. If we don't, we're just going to keep moving. Yeah, look, look, these, if these are panfish right here, it looks like a whole school. Come here, Cody, look. See them all? Right out here? Yep. Down six feet? Yep. Like those suspended? Yep. yep. Right out that way? I mean, it looks like it, right? Don't those look like fish? That it does. So what we'll do is we'll go on this side and just kind of cast. That's 40, 50 feet. I mean, you might as well just. That looks like a lot. Yeah. Right, right in front yep, of you. Right in front of you. This, those, this, those are all panfish. I've so got to believe. This is legitimately right where I was. Because all right. As you go on track out, it's probably going to track out. Like 11, 12, 12. So you see the weeds here, guys? And I'll watch as I spin the head of the, the bow mount. See those fish that are suspended right there? Those are either crappies right there. They're down four to five feet. Right there, all the way out here, 40 feet. So I'll hit spot lock right now, get set up, and we'll start casting towards them. Wait a second, we just got here. You got the minnow out. Ain't a bad deal at all. That's a nice kill. Trying to eat them or? It's up to you, keep I, what I you want. Need... I'm good, yeah, I don't need any. There you go. Got him? Yep. What do we got? Oh, my first crappie, crappie of the year. <laughs> Little guy, huh? It's all right. Of course, I'm the only one that hasn't got a fish. <laughs> That's how it goes when it's your spot. Hey, I know, as long as you guys can get into it. Nice little crappie. crappie. I'm on again. <laughs> uh oh, another crappie from the captain. Little that baby. Like a better one. All right. That's all right. We're into the crappies, but like you said, you know, when you find the right... Uh-oh, you're on, we're in them. They're little ones, so what we'll do is maybe we'll, uh, we'll move you a little bass, a little bass. I'm just using a little plastic here and I'm just kind of working across the top, bomb it out. Match your color scheme with a little crappie too. And I'm just kind of just shaking the tip when I see that float go down, where are you at, sir? like now, I just, there we go, I got one on. Another crappie, yep. That's a better one, ain't it? No. Oh, small. I think you're right. I think we just will have to move around until we find, oh, until we find the right size fish we want to get, you know. Either that or just sort through. It seems like they're all the same, same you know, like size. Yep. Uh, not a netter, but you know, another nice one. 
close to it. Definitely getting a little bigger, boys. They're getting a little bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll take that one. Look at that. Yeah. Heck, yeah. Now we're into some nice crappies. This is Brian's spot, Brian's Lake. So, I appreciate you getting me the invite, getting me and Cody out here. Awesome, thank you. We are on Lake Wishanoo. In case you guys are wondering, look it up. And this is what I'm using right here. I'm tempted to throw like a key tech with a... We'll roll it? Yeah, just roll it through there for some bigger ones, you know, like... Yeah, when we go down to the south, there we go. When we go down to the southern end of the lake. I'll put a bigger jig on too, you know. Well, that's yeah. a nice crappie. See, you know, it's what's interesting though. Like the average size, is just a little bit better. Yep. Sometimes it weeds out those littler fish. There he is. That feels okay. Get on the live scope. Yeah, that feels decent. Oh yeah, big crop, big crappie. Yep, I'll take the net. Oh yeah, that's the one we want, brother. There's a nice 12, 13 incher. Yes, on the swim bait. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. Let's just take a quick peek and see how big it is. I'll say 12, 12 and a half. Oh my God, it's almost 14 inches, guys. <laughs> Look at this. Almost 14, that's touching 14 inches. It's actually, yeah. Wow, thank you, bro. Let him go, let him grow. Right? I mean, that's, I mean, look, if I wanted to keep some, I'd keep these like 12, 13 inches. Oh, yeah. You missed them? Yeah. What is going on back here, Skeeter? <laughs> Gong show. Again, on the paddle tail, I just switched it up. Good job, brother. Right? It just goes to show you there's a couple of different ways you can catch them. We kind of got off the school. I got my live scope pointed up front, so I can't really see where the fish are at. When we see them back here, I hit, sp I hit spot lock, and then we start casting to them. And again, real quick, I'll just go over the bait I'm using. It's just a, it's just a three inch Kytec, guys. Three, three and a half inch, little tungsten Euro tackle, tungsten jig head. Super sharp, compact, small. I'm just gonna show you how I rig it real quick. But again, you you can use a mushroom head by like Z-Man or Outcast Tackle. That'll work. That's the bait. Just to the right of you. Oh, I just had a bite. I just went to pull it and I felt a little weight. Normally those big ones, you just feel them. There he is. Yep. Oh, nice one too, man. They're all big that are eating this. It's so great. Oh, another big one. That's another 12, 13 incher. Swim baits for big crappies, guys. Southern Wisconsin, high pressured lakes. Trying to teach you techniques, how to catch them. Talking about live scope, I mean, I really feel like this sort of technology is gonna change the game. It already has changed the game of pan fishing. And I don't know, I just feel like the regulations have to go along with it. You know, it'd be nice to see our DNR on some of these lakes take the pan fish down to, to 10, you know, just because we're talking about it. Like, it's so easy for us to get on these fish and for anyone else to get on them, I can see the schools and you cast to them and you can decimate them real quick. So the DNR doesn't do something to kind of keep up with technology. We're all gonna be talking about, yeah, remember how good the fishing used to be 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you know, stuff like that. There he is. Another decent one. Definitely, if I was having a fish fry, this guy would be going in the box. That's like a perfect eater. Tell me 
what you guys think. Should our lakes be more regulated? Leave a comment. Do you think our panfish regulations need to be regulated more? Leave a comment. Yes, no, I want my 25 panfish. Everyone's entitled to their opinions. You let me know. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. That's a big one. It's a big one. I just saw him flash in the water. He's big. Yeah, he's right here in your, oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow. That's a big one, guys. That's a big crappie. I'm gonna try to flip him. Oh yeah, that's the best one of the day. Last light, look at that. Swim baits for big crappies. Wow. That's all I can say is wow, love the colors. If you don't like catching crappies, I mean, feeling that thump. Right, Cody? I'm Is that to, sick or what? I'm about to switch up here. Out of the, down the mouth. What a stud. That's what we call the meat down, beat down. Oh, he oh, doubled up. Wow. Right there. Right, yep. 14 and, 14 and a quarter, 14 and a half. There you go. That's it. Look wow. That right? right? I know. Look at that. that exactly. Look at that. Go. Beautiful. Right? Is that just awesome or what? Man, thanks, Brian. No I appreciate it, brother. <laughs> meet Thank down, you. Meet down. meet down, beat down, smack down, crack down in full effect. <laughs> you know it. Try to find the school, locate the school of them, cast into them, let it sink a little bit. Here comes one right now. There he is, biggin'. Biggin', I saw him following it, bro. Biggin'. Oh yeah, it's a biggin'. That's a really big it's one. It's a big one. <laughs> it's big. I might need the net for this one. <laughs> just to be safe. Maybe, it's 14. That's a toad. Like, really big. Oh, we found the school of big fat mamas. And if you're from Wisconsin, a strong representation for all our ladies that like our cheese curds. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Is that awesome? Look at the way they're eating it. My God. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they'll eat that, like I said, my go-to is the 3.5. Really? The 3.5 is what I, what I want to use all the time. Measure it real quick. Yeah, I'm just curious how big these fish are. The other 14 inches. You know, these are 14 inch crappies. Awesome. Well, you were right, dude. I mean, look, all the credit, all the credit goes to you. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, you're like, hey, come check out this spot. And uh, so I, I give you all the credit. And thanks for the invite, bro. He's straight up said if we get them here, they're bigger. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. but as, as you can see, it's one thing to get on the fish. It's another thing to catch them, yes. you know, like, it, <laughs> it, especially in a, in a clear lake. Well, I mean that because like and clear then, lakes are the hardest lakes to fish. Like yeah. It gets really crystal clear and they're, they're, they're the hardest lakes in my opinion to fish. And sometimes it's all those little details that are just making all the difference in the world. You know, so much of what I do is I just drive around and like, I go like this. I'm like at the, at the, ready. At the ready and then just waiting and looking and pointing and like, okay, now I see him 70 feet, the beginning of the school, 70 feet right out that way. So you got to make that 70, go ahead and try to launch it out. That's the problem with that light jig is, you know, you can, max cast is like yeah. 60 to 70. So let me see. I see it falling. Look, you're falling right here. You're at I'm, 60 I'm feet. Short. You're 10 feet short. And you see how fast it falls? You're already down six feet. So yeah. maybe a two count, you know, a two count and try to recast. It's amazing you can see your jig dropping. Yeah, and that little tiny jig, you can see it, you know. So I'm trying to stay. And that's the other thing I'm trying to do is I'm, yep. Is see, right you're there? just a little short, though. But, you know, just a little short. Yep. We're not quite in it. Yep. See it? See it coming across right now? Oh, yeah. That's your jig. So that's we'll awesome. we'll move a little bit ahead here. So it's just, that's why you didn't get bit. You know, yeah, you throw cool. it into the school and then boom, you're going to get bit. Watch. 
So now, now we're getting a little closer. So now we're look 50 yep. to 60. So now you should be able to bomb it in there. Yep. Now it's going to sink. Yep. And then just slowly start reeling it and be ready. Cause you're right there in them now. There he is. <laughs> Man. Yeah, they, they, I don't know. I just, when in doubt, paddle tail them out. <laughs> It'd be interesting to throw a minnow out there too, just to see how they yeah. would react to just a, a minnow, you know? Right? I mean, especially if you tail hooked a, a fathead, in the tail and just let that thing do his thing out there. Nice one too. Oh, it's a dandy. It's a dandy, bro. Oh, yes, it is a big one. Love it. Love big crappies, don't we, buddy? Oh, I love it. Nice. Yes. Southern Wisconsin springtime crappies. Nice work, brother. Nice stud. Yes, it is. Nice work. There he is. Good one. Good one. Feels like another big one. No, not super huge, but good eater. Nice fat female. Boy, I was just kind of shaking it, you know, just like twitching it like you would ice fishing, you know? Boy, did she eat it too. I mean, just munched it. Look at that, it's just way down there, you know, they're just munching it. There he is. He came from down deep, I saw him. Feels, feels like another good one. Oh, big crap. Yeah, really big. Another big crap. Boat flipping big crops. Like wow. my what? <laughs> Beautiful. No, you know what? You're not dumb. You're a damn good fisherman. You just uh, put the exact same jig head on, the exact same plastic I got on, and try it. I'm gonna have to. Just match exactly what I'm doing. You know, try same jig, same plastic. You know, you got a little bit heavier jig, and it just goes to show yeah. you those little subtleties maybe are just what's making it you got a different plastic and a different jig head yeah right oh trust me i hate those are my daughter's scissors i'm waiting for people to start busting my balls online about them how big is that plastic Eric? three inch i got some right up front in there i got some I think, no, there he is. I think you can go up to like, really for these big crappies, no problem, like almost a four inch. Yeah. But like the three to three and a half is like my favorite for crappie, big crappie. Best bait I feel like in the spring for me when I go on any lake is if I can get a three inch or four inch, these key techs yeah. and just have customers cast them out and reel them in slow because it just looks like, you look at it in the water, you know, it just looks the, the way the paddle tail moves. It just looks like a little, I got some up there. Just grab some out of the bag up there. But if you guys see this, I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll grab my GoPro, but just the way that bait goes so slow. This is one of the best all around swim baits you can get. Everybody has copied them. And like, this is a panfish jig, but I'll use those, um, show you right here. This is my, kind of my go-to setup in the spring i learned this a few years back maybe 10 years ago when when these baits first came out and i was on the madison chain and i'll show you so here here's here's some right here if you want to like this 3.5 is like my go-to right here because it catches everything you're going to catch bass you're going to catch walleyes you're going to catch big crappies yeah. small crappies yeah. white bass will eat it big pike are going to come up and smack it because it just looks like a perfect size minnow Especially this time of year. yeah it's in the spring yeah and and i've got like i mean i got a little tongue normally i'll use like an eighth ounce like cody see this little eighth ounce jig head this tungsten yeah if you use this right here and normally what i do is i will super glue gel i'll take a dab right now 
and I'll just put it on the end because it just th these jig heads don't have a really good keeper yeah but that's it I mean this is like this is a three five meaning a three and a half a three and a half inch so here's the the three and a half here's a three inch try that I'm gonna get you one too to try there it is So many crappies like this, so many. It's just been sick. Awesome, awesomely sick. Can't thank you enough, Brian. Beautiful, fat females. Oh yes, 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 brother. Believe me, bro, I get just as excited seeing other people catching them. Yes, tanker. Tank. Nice. Last light, big crappies, southern Wisconsin. Dandy. Right? And he's on. All right, Cody's got another big one. That's what I'm talking about. Casting up big crappies. Who needs live bait, right? This is way funner fishing them this He's way. getting the camera lens all wet, but that's okay. Big crappies. Nice Thick job. Ones too. Yep. Yes. They're all nice. Just all nice right here. Fat mama. They're all pregnant females. Wow. Find the right ear class. Find the right bait. Find the right buddy. <laughs> Game over. There you go. There we go. I'm on two. Double. We're doubled up, brother. You got a big one? Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Nice black one. Nice. Nice. So you switched up and put the hair on? Nice work, brother. Nice. Nice little crappie. Yes. I got a little one. You got a big one? I like it. And that's a heavy hair jig. An aggressive fish chasing that hair. Oh yeah, they're in here big time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this school right here. Yeah, a pile. There he is. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, another big one. Another big one. Oh, oh yeah. another big one. Good Lord. Bro, oh, we're gonna get a picture of a couple of these, then we're gonna let them go. He's gonna hold up a couple of them. I think we just need four for a picture. And we got four, there we go. And we're gonna let them go. All right, guys, we took a picture real quick. A couple of these beautiful 14 inch crappies. Nice job, brother. We're gonna let them go. Let them go, let them grow. Oh, got them jumping out of the water. Doesn't get any better than that. That's what I call a meet down, beat down, smack down, crack down. That was fun, man. We are gonna wrap up this video here, guys. Again, I gotta thank my buddy Brian here for coming out with us this afternoon. And you know, it always helps when you fish with someone that lives on the lake. And it also helps, obviously, as you saw, to have the live scope. You know, that, that, that really helped us get on the fish. And, Hope you learned something from this week's video about swim bait fishing and finesse bobber fishing for spring crappies here in southern Wisconsin. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification button. And once again, the meet down, beat down, smack down, crack down was in full effect with my buddies here in southern Wisconsin. Next week, we're going to crank out another video. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching, guys.